This quartet was the first prominent vocal group of the rock star era. With their gentle, beautiful harmonies and longer innocence, this group established the so-called girl group sound. Their music was a fusion of rock, pop, and R&B, most notably doo-wop and smooth uptown soul. This group was not the first of its sort, but its success cleared the way for others to follow. This group musical blueprint had an enduring impact on not just the immediate fans, but also on future generational of pop singers. Today's video is all about the Shirelles. Before we start today's video, let's be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and push that notification bell to be sure you won't miss out on any more uploads. Now without further ado, let's do that intro. Doris Coley, Addie Mickey Harris, Shirley Owens, and Beverly Lee was four high school students that founded this group back in 1958 in Pasek, New Jersey. The girls was once known as the Poquellas, and they created a song titled, I Met Him on a Sunday. The group entered the school's talent show, and they went to perform the song. A friend of the group suggested that they should audition for her mother, Florence Greenberg, who owned a tiny label named Tierra Records. She was so taken by them that she decided to sign them to her label and took over as the group's manager. Her first action was to choose Shirley Owens as lead vocalist and she renamed the group The Shirelles. The song was then formally recorded by the group and was licensed to Decca Records. Eventually, the group's contract was sold to Decca for $4,000, which is about $42,000 in today's money. Greenberg remained as a group manager as the song climbed to the top 50 in the national charts. The group recorded two additional singles, both of which failed, and Decca decided to decline any future releases. The label dropped them and labeled them as a one-hit wonder. So Greenberg signed them to a label that she just created named Scepter Records and hired producer Luther Dixon, who worked with many legendary artists such as Perry Como and Nat King Cole, to mention a few. Dixon's creative, sometimes string-heavy compositions aided in shaping the group's unique sound. The group recorded two songs with this sound with Dedicated to the One I Love in 1959, And Tonight's the Night in 1960. Both singles failed to make an impression. They had a tremendous hit in late 1960 with Will You Love Me Tomorrow? You give me your love. So with this song, they became the first all-female musical group to do so. The song's success enabled a re-release of Dedication to the One I Love that helped climb the charts in 1961. That same year, they released many songs like Mama Said, Big John, A Thing of the Past, And baby, it's you. It's not the way you smile that touched my heart. That next year, they continued their success with hits like Soldier Boy. First love, and you'll be my last. Welcome home, baby. Home, baby. It's Stop the music. And everybody loves a lover. Dixon's departure from the label in 1963 which signaled the end of the Shirelles chart success. 
Despite Dixon's departure, the group continued to record and achieve minor success. The group later recorded a song for the film Mad 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 World. While the group was in Alabama, a young Dion Warwick gained some experience by filling in for Owens and Cooley, who was on leave to get married. A money issue with the label kept them from recording for the majority of 1964. By the time everything was settled, the group was still signed to the label, but their run had came to an end. With this situation with the label and also the British invasion, with bands for the UK covered American songs, and most notably their songs, not only their successes, but also their lesser known tunes. Throughout the remainder of the 60s, the group scrapped the bottom of the charts, ending in 1967 with the hit Last Minute Miracle. Sadly, this was their final charter song. Coley departed from the group in 1968 to focus on her family, and the group remained as a trio. Towards the conclusion of the group's career, they recorded for many labels such as Bell, United Artists, and RCA until 1971. The group, they continued to perform in the OD circuit. The group was featured in the documentary, Let the Good Times Roll in 1973. Shirley Owens, she departed from the group in 1975 to pursue a solo career, prompting Coley to rejoin. Harris passed away from a heart attack on June 10th, 1982, while performing in Atlanta. Following this, the group went into a brief hiatus. The remaining three recorded back on vocals for Dionne Warwick for the last time in 1983. Although Lee owns the name The Shirelles, the original members now travel in other groupings. Shirley performs as Shirley Austin Reeves in her Shirelles, while Lee performed as The Shirelles with entirely new members. The Rhythm and Blues Foundation presented the group with the Pioneer Award in 1994. In 1996, this group was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and in 2002, that was inducted into the Vocal Group Hall of Fame. Their community renamed the street where their high school was at to Shirelles Boulevard in 2008. The Shirelles helped create the girl group sound with their songs predating Motown and their extensive bridging of racial demographics in both the United States and Britain. The Beatles was huge fans as we see of their collections of cover songs that was presented by the Shirelles and the Ronettes. <laughs>